Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing an updated video on how to cancel your subscription to ChatGPT. So the reason that we're doing this is that the ChatGPT cancel subscription button has changed its location and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to be assuming that you've logged into ChatGPT and in order to access your billing settings, you need to click on your icon here and that's your profile. And then we need to go to my plan. So we're going to click on my plan here. And this will take us to the plan that we have at the moment. So at the moment, I'm using a personal plan. Once you are subscribed to a plan, you need to go down here and find the manage my subscription button. So this is the button here that we're going to press now. So click manage my subscription. So just wait for a moment. This is now loading up and we can see here manage your open AI billing settings. We have our subscription here, which is $20 a month, and it tells us that we are renewing on the 2nd of November, 2024. So basically what we need to do is to go to the right hand side here and we need to click on cancel plan. And this isn't gonna cancel the entire account. This just means that we won't be renewing our account until the next billing date. We'll still have access until that date. And of course you can use ChatGPT for free. You just don't have any of the premium features. So here we're gonna go ahead and cancel the plan. So click cancel plan. And this is now cancelling and now the tick means that it's done. So here we have our survey. We're going to click next page and then you can answer this if you like. And then next page again. And that is basically done now. So it means that on the 2nd of November or whenever your billing date ends, you're going to lose access to some of the more advanced features, but there are the free features that you can use anyway. And if we go back to our plan settings, it tells us that in the manage my subscription, our account is going to be cancelled on November 2nd, but we still have access to those features all the way until then. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.